Lisa Marie Presley found herself in a harrowing situation that every mother dreads. When her 27-year-old son, Ben Keo, died by suicide in July 2020, Lisa Marie, who died in 2023, wrote an essay about Ben for People magazine for Grief Awareness Day in August 2022. She revealed, I've had more than anyone's fair share of it in my lifetime, but this one, the death of my beautiful, beautiful son, the sweetest and most incredible being that I have ever had the privilege of knowing, who made me feel so honored every single day to be his mother, no, just no. Lisa Marie also made a heartbreaking decision immediately after Ben's death, as revealed in her new memoir, Here to the Great Unknown, co-written with her daughter, Riley Keough. She just wanted to share her experience and yeah. hope that people connected. That experience included an unorthodox detail. Lisa Marie didn't immediately lay Ben's body to rest after he died. She instead used dry ice to preserve him at home for two months. She explained her decision in her memoir before recalling the similar measures taken after the death of her father, Elvis Presley. Lisa Marie wrote, there is no law in the state of California that you have to bury someone immediately. Having my dad in the house after he died was incredibly helpful because I could go and spend time with him and talk to him. Lisa Marie used the time to delay their inevitable farewell and come to terms with the fact that she would eventually have to bury him. Although Lisa Marie's decision may have been therapeutic, her daughter Riley wrote extensively about the signs that Ben wasn't happy with the arrangement, revealing, we all got this vibe from my brother that he didn't want his body in this house anymore. Guys, he seemed to be saying, this is getting weird. Riley also revealed that Lisa Marie eventually arrived at a similar thought process after getting her own signals from Ben that it was time to let him go. Elsewhere in the book, Riley revealed that Ben's funeral was tough for her as well, writing, The service was as beautiful as it could have been, but as beautiful as it all was, I found myself needing to close my eyes simply to be able to bear it. When I'd opened them, I could barely see through tears. Before burying Ben, Lisa Marie persuaded Riley into getting tattoos matching some of Ben's existing ink. She took another unorthodox approach, allowing their chosen tattoo artist to inspect Ben's body, a decision Riley didn't agree with, writing, I looked at my mom, and with my eyes only, I communicated, are you out of your mind? You've never met this guy. Do not bring him into that room with my dead brother. However, Lisa Marie plowed ahead, leading to an uncomfortable moment for the artist. Riley wrote, I stood there aghast, watching him try to engage in the conversation and pretend this was fine. Despite the heavy, tragic nature of these surprising revelations, Riley revealed during an interview with Oprah Winfrey that her mother's memoir also covered a range of emotions outside of pain and loss. I think that reading the book, it does feel like a tragedy, but I think that it's really important for me to remember that there was so much joy and love and just wonderful times in our lives. I think that it taught me that we were, like, you know, very close. Because <laughs> yeah. there, there wasn't much in the book that I didn't know. 